Hey kids, Mrs. Muffin here. Today in second grade art, we're going to make an art project based on the book, Worry Says What? And we're going to make our own worry monsters, just like in the book. Before we get too far in art, we want to make sure we're ready mentally and physically. So to start, let's everybody take a deep breath and let it out. Now, if you need to right now, if maybe you've been doing math for a few hours or writing and your hands tired and you need a little break, make sure you're ready for art. Do some stretches. Maybe just take some more deep breaths. Maybe you need to walk around the house a little bit. Maybe you need to spend five minutes outdoors or maybe you need to go to the bathroom. Whatever it is, make sure that you are mentally and physically ready for art. I think I'm gonna take a few more deep breaths, wiggle around and then I'll be ready. Okay, I feel ready. Now, my head's ready for art. I need to make sure I have the right supplies. Today, as usual, you're gonna need a pencil. It can be a mechanical pencil like this, a regular pencil, any kind of pencil that you have. You also need an eraser. It can be a separate eraser like this, or it can be an eraser top on your pencil. You also need a piece of paper. We're all learning at home and we have different kinds of paper. Some of you have paper like this, I'm using watercolor paper, it's thicker, and it works great if you wanna use paint on your project. You might be using a notebook, you might be using some computer paper that's thinner, that's fine. Use whatever you have available to you right now at home. Just make sure the grown-ups that are at home with you are okay with you using that paper. Don't just go into somebody's office and say, oh, this paper looks good, and use it without asking. The last thing you're gonna need for your project is something to make it colorful. Again, we're at home learning, so we have different supplies depending on our household. Some of you might want to use color pencils or markers. Either of these are fine. Some of you might want to use crayons. Totally okay too. Whatever you have that you have permission to use is fine with me. Some of you might even have watercolor paints at home. If you have those and you have permission, they are your watercolor paints and the grown-ups at your house have said it's okay, you can use watercolor paint today too. In my example, I used my pencil, I used some crayons, and I also used a Sharpie. A permanent marker is totally optional. You do not have to use one. I just like how it looks in the video. One thing I will say is if you outline your art in marker and then you use watercolor paint, it has to be permanent or the ink from the marker will smear everywhere. Again, totally optional, you don't have to have one of these. If you do use one of these, make sure you only use it on your paper and only use it for outlining, otherwise it gets a little too stinky and it might give you a headache. And make sure you have permission to use it. So I think we're ready. We've got our paper, our pencil, our supplies to make our art colorful. Our goal for today's lesson is to learn a little bit more about worry and how we can feel better about the things that worry us and how we can feel more confident when we don't feel so confident. To help us learn more about how to feel confident, how to turn I can't statements into I can statements, we're gonna read the book, Worry Says What? And I hope that it will help you understand this subject a little bit more and inspire your art today. As I'm reading, I want you to be thinking about what your worry monster is going to look like and what sort of things you're going to write on your project. In my first sample, my worry monster kind of looks like a bear because in real life, I'm pretty scared of bears. So I thought it would be fitting to make a creature that scares me in real life. And then on one side, I have I can statements. And on the other side, I have I can't statements. So as I'm reading the book, I want you to think about what's my worry monster gonna look like and what sort of things am I gonna write on my project? It's going to look different from everybody because a monster's made up, right? It can look like anything. Now, if you're watching this on canvas, you're gonna to get to see this whole book. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna to have to find this book. I don't like to read the books on YouTube because the authors and illustrators of these books haven't given me permission to do so. You can find this book on an online library. You could buy it, it's a great book. Or you can look it up on YouTube and perhaps another teacher or another person has recorded this story. Even if you can't find this book, you'll still be able to do the art project though. I hope you got some ideas for I can and I can't statements. All throughout the book, the main character, at first, she felt like she couldn't do things. She said things like, I can't make friends. 
I can't do a back handspring. I can't, lots of ideas. And then by the end of the book, she felt more confident and those I can't statements turned into I can. For today's lesson, I want you to take your piece of paper and I'm gonna show you how to draw this, but you're going to think of some I can't statements and then you're gonna turn them into I can statements. So from negative to positive. If you would like, you can practice writing your statements on the back or you can get some lined paper and practice there and ask a grown up for help. But I want you to do at least three can't and three can statements on each side. If you have space and want to do more, go for it. But at least three I can and three I can't. Okay, so here's my first sample. As you can see, I have my column of I can't and then my column of I can. The things that are kind of the opposite of what I feel like I can't do sometimes. And then in the middle, I have my worry monster, just like in the book. Now in the book, the monster has lots of gray fur and some horns, but I made mine a little bit different. I gave mine some ears, kind of like a bear. I gave him a bear look because honestly, in real life, I'm quite afraid of bears. So I thought I should make a creature that I'm actually a little bit afraid of and then I can switch it so I can realize that I can overcome that fear and overcome that anxiety. So my creature kind of has some bear ears and some fur shapes like a bear, but then I made him colorful because it's art and I wanted to have some fun with that. The first thing I'm gonna do on my blank paper for my next sample is, of course, what is it? On the back, I wrote my name and my teacher's name. Write your name and your teacher's name. Don't write teacher, write your teacher's name. Then I'm gonna jump right in. Now, anytime I do a picture, I start with pencil. I wanna make this sample a little different than the last one. I kind of split my paper in half, you don't have to. And on this side, I've got, I can't. And over here, I have, I can. And then you can think of some statements that you might write. I'm gonna start by drawing my monster and then write those statements. I think this time I will make my monster like a snake. Now, I actually really like snakes, but I think that would be something fun to draw. So I'm gonna give my snake kind of a big head here, and then I'm gonna have their body swirl down the page. Match the other side. And it's okay, it's gonna go off the page. And it's a made up snake, so I can make it kind of interesting and fun. I'm gonna give this snake some really big eyes. And a little tongue like a snake that forks. I'm gonna give him a little nose. His face is kind of upside down. And then when I do his body, I, I can do some fun patterns. Now I can write my I can and I can't statements. So sometimes I feel anxious and like I can't do hard things. So I'm gonna write, I can't do hard things. And what's the opposite of that? I can do hard things. And I'm gonna write this in pencil because I already kind of made a mistake here. I wanted that D to be lowercase. I always write in pencil so that I can fix it before it's too late. Sometimes I feel anxious. I feel like I'm all alone and I don't have friends, so I'm gonna write, I can't have friends. But over here, I'm gonna put, I can have friends. Are you getting the pattern? It's basically the same thing on both sides, but one is I can't and one is I can. And all of ours might be different. Some people might be anxious about having friends. Some people might be anxious about getting a good math grade or score, but some of us might not feel anxious about those things. So it's okay if they're different. I'm gonna write, I can't be brave. And over here, I can be brave. Let's see, you're only required to pick at least three things but I want to fill up my paper, so I'm going to do more than three. I 
I think that's something really important to believe in because when times get tough, when schoolwork gets tough, we need to make sure that we believe that we can do hard things. Okay, now that I'm done with my pencil, I'm going to outline mine in black marker. You could use black crayon, black color pencil, or you could just leave it in pencil. You don't have to outline it. I like to do that because again, it shows up better in the video and I just like the pop that it gives my art, but you do not have to do this. And make sure if we're using something like this, a permanent marker, that we're only drawing on our paper and that we have permission from our grown-ups to use that permanent marker. Now, I'm going to use for my supplies today, crayons and watercolor paint. The reason I'm gonna do that is because, just like in my first example, when I draw with my crayons um, and I paint over it, it will resist the paint so you can see both the crayon and the paint. You can also use color pencil for this, but the crayons work really great because like on my snake eyes, if I color them white, and then I paint over that white crayon, it's gonna look really cool. I'm also gonna put a little yellow in my snake's eyes because he's a scary snake monster. He represents the things I'm afraid of and anxious about. So first, like I said, I'm gonna start with my crayon and then go over with my watercolor paint. I hope you had fun making some worry monsters today and listing some I can and I can't statements. Remember to have a grown up take a picture with their phone or a camera and share it with your teacher, or you can email it to me if you're on Canvas, and I can upload it to our school art gallery on Padlet.com. So make sure you share it with your classmates, and then you can hang this art up somewhere where you can see it when you're working on school. And remember, if you're feeling like I can't do my math, I can't read this sentence. You can look at this and turn those I can'ts into I cans. Thanks a lot, kids. I hope you have a great day.